alcohol and how much is too much can be a little hard to decipher at times. There are lots of guidelines out there, and now there's new information about binge drinking and the long-term impact it can have on your body and your brain. Our health specialist, Dr. Ali Zentner, is with me now to help talk us through this. Hi there. Hi. So how do we define binge drinking? How much and how often? So binge drinking is defined as for men or women, there are different criteria. For women, it's uh, anywhere between four drinks or more uh, within a two to three hour period. In men, it's five drinks or more between a two and three hour period. Not much difference between men and no, women. No, but the question is drinks. So that's 12 ounces of beer, uh, five ounces of wine, or an ounce and a half of hard alcohol counts as one drink. So for example, you have three beers at a ball game and two glasses of wine and you're binge drinking. And most people don't realize how little it takes in a sense, right, to be, qual to be classified that way. Absolutely. And the question is how often in a week, for example, well, the, the definition is binge drinking. So once a week, for example, could be binge drinking. Now we know, of course, that alcohol puts huge stress on our liver, but it also impacts other organs. Tell us about that. This was a study published just this past week in the Journal of Neurology, it looked at 5,000 civil servants out of the UK, uh, men in their early 50s. And what it actually did was ask them about their drinking behavior a decade before, and then had them do cognitive function tests uh, every five years for two decades afterwards. Found a significant increase in, or sorry, a significant decrease in their memory and in their reasoning. Uh, two years for reasoning, six years earlier for memory decline in binge drinkers versus men that didn't do that. So cognitive decline in men who binge drink. Absolutely. And we don't have data on women, but I would argue that I suspect we'd see the same thing. And I think most people think that's something that happens when you're an alcoholic. Right. I you expect cognitive decline, but not necessarily binge drinking. No, I think the issue here is that alcohol consumption in significant amounts, even in short periods of time, can affect your memory and your cognition long term. Just a final question, is drinking something that most doctors in this country talk to their patients about? You know, the studies show that we don't do it enough and, uh, and I think we need to be doing it more because there's interesting data that shows that talking with your doctor about your alcohol consumption decreases it by as much as 25%. It just plants the seed in your mind about it? I think it's a matter of, of behavioral therapy. When you discuss with someone, it changes your behavior. All right, Dr. Ali Zentner, thanks again. Thank you.